everybody. Uh, welcome back. Um, I just want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for joining the channel. Um, today I've got a fabric covered um, bee journal. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been accumulating a lot of different bee themed kits and then, you know, whatever I can find that's free, <coughs> images online um, to print out. So, you know, I've just accumulated a lot of different things. This isn't um, any one particular kit, just very various things. But the papers in here are um, from TLC on Etsy. Um, so if you if you're interested in the the main pages, um, you can purchase those from them. It's not a design team, so I'm not going to put a link below, guys. You can uh, find those easy enough. So. This is the fabric I've been hoarding for, I don't know, gosh, now I've probably had it a couple of months, I think. And just, you know, I've had other projects that have taken priority, so it's taken me a little while. I took some um, of this cord and I've stitched that. It's a two signature, but this is a big journal. This is a six and a half by nine. Probably... Uh, it really is one of my biggest journals. I normally stick to, you know, eight and a half or so, but it just ended up being a pretty big one. I love the button. That was in my stash, so that had to be part of the journal. And let's just go inside. These papers are beautiful. I think you guys are going to really like them. Look at that, how vibrant. Like I said, the papers are TLC, but... I've got a mix from Artie Mays, Seneca Pond Crafts, um, and then just various images I picked up off of um, the in internet and Pinterest. So, okay. So, anyways, um, it is a fabric journal, uh, so it's you know it's pretty flexible, and I've added a pocket here, and then this is a tag that I've done some. Uh, stitching on. I do love these papers. How pretty are those? Um, two signatures. I don't know the amount of papers off the top of my head, but I will be listing this. Well, it is listed in my shop, so if you're interested, you can find the details in the shop on it. Um, I had to do some more of these fabric pockets because I love how those came out uh, in my little bitty four by six journals I previously <clears throat> um, did flip throughs on. I've, I love these. Um, such pretty little images. And then that, and this is an Artie Mays journal uh, card. This was just some leftover paper that I've uh, made a little tuck spot here. A couple of flips. These papers, I'm certain those are TLC as well. And I've just backed the B papers with those because they, they're really, really pretty. I told you guys I'm struggling to get uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, my tea dyed papers will not go through my printer anymore, and I have tried, and I can't tell you how many papers it's chewed up. I've cleaned it. I've done everything, and all of my papers are always pressed, so I've kind of given up on hope of getting those back through until I can afford to get a different printer, maybe, and try it that way. I don't know. It just seems to be hit or miss with these things. This is a tiny... Um, Envelope. This was part of Artie May's Bee Garden Kit. Um, yeah, I don't know if I showed you guys this. Um, this is the pr problem when I try to talk and go through. I lose focus. Um, this is some more of the papers. Um, just an old vintage book page. Some tracing paper. I've done stenciling throughout. I've added some tabs throughout the journal. It's just a nice, um, I love the fabric journals, you guys know I do. I just, um, I think they have a really nice feel to them. 
Um, here I did a bit of um, fabric ruffle. I purchased some fabric about a week ago, so I've been playing around with that. I loved this because this has got a bit of blue in it. And then this is just a flip up here. So you've got extra secret writing there. And in the centers of the um, signatures, I've just added a couple little beads. If you didn't like that, you could always snip those out. It's easy enough to do. Beautiful papers. And then this is another little flip out. I really like the, um, this is the Tim Holtz Wild Honey um, Distress Inks Oxide. And I love that color. It, it goes really nicely with the bee journals. Well, it would, wouldn't it, since it's honey. <laughs> and here is a big envelope. This was an Artie Mays from her, I believe that was the Nature Walk kit that that one was from. I, I think it all matches really nice. Love these papers. It's really strange weather we're having here. I don't um, know about where you're at today, but um, in England we're having unseasonably warm weather. Um, in fact, yesterday I had a few minutes, I let Daisy out in the back, and um, I thought, oh, it's just so nice, such a nice temperature. I think it was about 60, so I just sat out there in the sun, and it's just unheard of, absolutely unheard of. Um, to be March and that kind of weather, but I loved it. It was, and, and today is going to be another nice day, so I may take Daisy for a walk. Oh, I love this image. Um, this was online, I believe. Mm, I believe that was. Love that image. So that's a little journal card there, and just some more little various book pages I've cut down. Here I've done. It's a, um, a little pocket, and then I've included, I love that image, that's so pretty with the purples in there. Um, and then here, I made a little pocket behind here, and this is one of Tracy Fox's um, little seed envelopes, and I tucked that in there, I think that's really sweet. I like the way that sticks out. So you can also add something here. So yeah, if the weather holds out, although in here it can change in 15 minutes time, it can be completely different, but if it all holds out, I think I'm going to take Daisy. We've got a river that runs through the town, and I think I might try to take her along it. Um, we checked on it last weekend, and because we've had quite a lot of rain, um, the ground is just too soggy so I didn't want to take her down there because it would require bathing her and, and Daisy doesn't like to have a bath. <laughs> she loves to roll around in filthy disgusting ponds but put her in the bathtub and she's frantic. She paces the tub up and down, up and down. <laughs> so I didn't really want to put her through that. Um, just to Edith Holden and I just just made a little kind of flip spaces, did a little bit of punching here. Here I've just made a small notebook out of some leftover tea dye papers. And you got a tuck spot here and then a pocket on the back. Yeah, my uh, my husband keeps wanting to purchase some, um, love that page, some uh, <clears throat> vegetables to get started for the garden and I'm still nervous because it's been such a mild winter and I still just don't think we've seen the worst of it yet so I keep trying to delay him. I'm like no let's just give it a couple more weeks but I don't know I'm gonna have to start reading up. It's been so long since I've had a garden um, but I really do need to check on when I should be getting this stuff in. Um, here is a, um, this is one of the time sheets. This is from um, the Papered Soul. So if you like that size, which I love, um, Laura's shop, the Papered Soul on Etsy sells those. Um, I've been hanging on to those. I won those in one of her giveaways, and 
I'm really, really protective of which, you know, I've only got a few of them, so I'm like, ah, oh, I hoard, hoard, hoard. <laughs> but I must stop doing that. Here's another little tuck spot. And then another little tag here. Oh, I love these papers. So pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I really love the vibrant colors in this um, paper kit. Yeah, my uh, spirit's getting restless, guys. It's this change in the weather. I now want, I want to get my camping gear and just hit the road. I want to be sitting by a campfire and looking up at the stars and oh, there's nothing I love more than being on the road. I just love it. I should have been a truck driver. I think that was my calling and I missed it. I should have been a truck driver. Then I could have just been on the road, although I'd have probably been in all sorts of trouble because I wouldn't want to make my deliveries, you know. I'd have been off venturing off on little paths and so that probably wouldn't have worked out too well. But yes, I love to be in the on the I love the open road. There's something about I guess because we did that so much when I was young, we um we got to see a lot of the U.S. and I'm so grateful because um, we, you know, our family wasn't wealthy. <clears throat> My dad had a good job, but um, we, you know he was he was pretty tight with the money, so we we just camped everywhere. But I have to say, um, it's true. You know, it, it just gave me a love for it. He and I are we're very similar on the places we enjoy. We don't we don't go for touristy places much. We like to be off in nature and uh, <clears throat> I guess that's where I got the fever for it because now boy when the weather changes I just I hate being inside I want to just get on the road and go I like meeting people out I love sitting in the campground just chatting with people and uh, I don't know sorry I'm off on another Ramble. You guys know I live in a daydream world most of the time. I love that little tag. Isn't that sweet? I don't know how many bumblebees are in this um, journal, but there's got to be a lot because I've filled it with a lot of different things. Here, I did another little tag there and made a little tab so you could see it from the inside the envelope here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. And then I did another one of these. And you can make a little tuck spot under here. But then inside, this is one of Artie May's images. So I included him. And then you got a little place you can do some writing there. Look at that page. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Beautiful papers. Um, and then I did another pocket on the back. So... There you have it. It's it's pretty chunky. Um, like I said, I don't know off the top of my head how many pages, but I will have that in the listing if you're if you're interested in it. And um, I really hope everybody has a great weekend. Get out and do something that you've been wanting to do, and uh, make the most of it, guys. I'll see you back here soon. Take care. Bye.